So you just got a new monitor for your PC, or perhaps you just did an update, or maybe Windows did an update in the background automatically that you didn't even know about, and now your screen is flickering. It's incredibly frustrating, especially if you're trying to game or video edit it while your screen is giving you an epileptic seizure. Today, we're gonna show you guys how to remedy that. Let's get it. Party Stallions and Stallionettes, sure, my screen, I have a Windows 10 help article pulled up. This is primarily the resource that we're going to be using for today's tutorial. So first of all, so first of all, what actually causes this issue? Well, screen flickering in Windows 10, which I'm assuming if you're watching this video, as it is in the title that you are on a Windows 10 PC, at least I hope you are. If you're on uh, if you're on iMac or Vista or XP, you might have taken a wrong turn. So please exit out the front door, but I do have a lot of other videos that would be beneficial for you. But it's caused by display drivers. To update your display driver, you'll need to start your PC in safe mode, uninstall your current display adapter, and then check for driver updates. Now you do not need to do this right here, starting in safe mode, that is a last resort if you cannot fix it with the steps that we're gonna do first. This article right here will also be sourced or cited in the description below for your perusing pleasure. So the first thing you wanna do is hit Control Alt Delete on your keyboard and pop open Task Manager. And this is a little bit of troubleshooting here. If the flickering on your screen is happening on the Task Manager as well, which you can full screen to make it a little bit easier uh, as a visual cue for you to see if it is flashing on the, the Task Manager window. If your Task Manager window is flickering along with the rest of your screen, any other applications open, in that case, you are gonna to have to update, repair, or even roll back to a previous version of your um, display driver. Now, if Task Manager is not flickering along with the rest of the screen, that lets you know that it is a specific application or program that is causing the issue. So first of all, we'll say Task Manager is flickering along with the rest of our PC. You're gonna hit the Windows button on your keyboard. So you're gonna hit the Windows key on your keyboard and you are gonna type in, you are gonna type in DE and it should populate with Device Manager. You're gonna click on that and you will get this window right here. You are gonna go to Display Drivers right here drop down this little uh, drop down this arrow and it will show you what display drivers you are running now. All three of my monitors, well, technically two monitors and a TV that I use as a third monitor are plugged into the back of my RTX 3080 graphics card. So that is my only display driver currently. I'm gonna right click it and I'm gonna hit update driver. It will ask me how I want to obtain the update. I'd like to get it online. So search automatically. The best drivers for your device are installed. That is correct because I keep up to date with my uh, Nvidia control panel. But if you do not do automatic updates or manually check every couple days, then this might be what's causing causing your flickering. Next up, you can right click on the device and go to properties, go to the driver tab and clicking on update driver here will take you to the window that we were just at, but you can go to rollback driver. It is blacked out because I currently do have the most up to date driver and I have actually done a clean install of my graphics suite. So I don't have an option to roll back to a previous uh, version of my device of my display driver. But if you did, that would be right there. If a device fails after updating the driver, roll back to the previously installed driver. So this is another option for you. Again, if your task manager is flickering along with everything else. Now, if task manager does not flash along with the rest of uh, what's displayed on your screen, that means that it is a specific application or program that's causing the issue. So, so if you remember off the top of your head, the last application that you installed or the most recent application, you can either install a fresh copy of that or uninstall it and see if that fixes the issue. But if it's an application you actually need or wanted, you're probably going to want that back on there. So a lot of times, it is just driver incompatibility. So after you reinstall that application, you will just do a driver, uh, you will just do a display driver update in the window that I just previously showed you. But, but what you can do is press the Windows key on your keyboard and type in system restore. You'll see this right here, create a restore point, click on that, click on system restore right there. And the recommended restore for me, as this was the last time that there was a um, major update or change to my operating system was yesterday, at which time I installed Dell Client Management Service. Or you can go down here to choose a different restore point and it'll show you some other options. I, I uh, did an update for ExpressVPN, which is the VPN that I strongly recommend you guys run, by the way, link in the description below for 30 days free. Or you can click on scan for affected programs right here and it will scan for recently affected programs or drivers. So any recent changes on your Windows 10. So if you have added, removed or updated a program, it will show up right here. And then from there, you can select yourself a manual restore point 
to before you install that application to see if that fixes your flickering issues, which in essence, it definitely should. That is gonna do it for the tutorial, guys. Hopefully this was beneficial for you. If it was, liking the video will help it to get seen by more people. So this information will reach and assist them as well, which in turn helps me grow this channel, which I do greatly, greatly appreciate. Subscribe for more content like this. I do news in the gaming community and industry, as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, PC tutorials like this, and honest gaming peripheral reviews. I'll see you tomorrow because I upload daily.